<laughs> hey guys, it's Francesca and welcome back to my channel. This video is sponsored by Marac. So today I'm going to be filming like a little day in my life basically um, during summer. Um, I just got back from tennis and um, I normally go in the mornings and the evenings. So I've been up since like 6.30 today um, because my class starts at 7.30. So I just got done with that and I'm back home. And I'm with James right now. He's over on the side. He picks me up from tennis. So basically, I already got coffee. I already started my day. But right now, I have to go take a shower after tennis. I know one thing for sure I have to do is I have to go sell my clothes at Plato's Closet. Because I have three freaking cardboard boxes of clothes that I need to sell. After that, I don't know. We'll just see where the day takes us. But you'll come along with us. So it's okay. But for now, I'm going to go shower. So I'll be back. So quick little OOTD, I guess. Okay, so I have like this top from Brandy Melville or it was from Paxson, but it's like a Brandy Melville top. I have like this little thing from TJ Maxx. Um, then I have the shorts, they're Levi 501 shorts. And then I have Adidas Black Sambas <laughs> and then like some jewelry and stuff like that. So yeah, basically, um, we're gonna go out now. Um, we're probably gonna go eat lunch first. Probably Texas Roadhouse, 100%. Right now my hair is still wet, but I'm gonna let it like air dry and I'm gonna straighten it in a bit, so yeah. Okay, so, oh my gosh, ignore my hair. Me and James are on our way to Texas Roadhouse. We're both starving and we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna see how many Texas Roadhouse rolls we can eat in one sitting. It's gonna be like eight easily <laughs> Easily um, But yeah, we're like starving. That actually might just be the main course Why don't we just go and stuff our face with bread like just sit down and just be like yeah We'll just get some bread baskets. That's all like I Don't even know. I'm so hungry though like I, Anyways, we're gonna do that and then uh, we're gonna probably go back to his house and like I'm gonna like style my hair while he gets ready and then we're gonna go out so yeah um, so Texas Roadhouse was closed, so we went to Chili's instead. Um, I got a little Chipotle bowl and mac and cheese, and then James got little crispers and fries. <laughs> okay guys, we're heading to Plato's Closet. Here's all my clothes. I have like two full bins, and this is all I can bring in today because they have like a limit of two boxes per customer, which is kind of weird, but Anyways, that's all I'm gonna bring in today, but I still have a full cardboard box to bring in. I can bring it in like tomorrow or another day. I don't know how much they're gonna give me for that. Maybe like $100 or something. Um, I don't know if that's low or high, but we'll see. And I'll let you know, but like 100 is, around 100 is kind of my prediction. Okay guys, so I left my clothes at Plato's Closet and they literally still haven't texted me back and it's been like, an hour kind of they haven't texted me back so i'm like i don't know okay so i just got home i'm in my garage and oh oh my god i thought something like landed on me basically i'm in my garage i got home from plato's closet and they gave me pretty almost everything back they did say they took 20 items and they did give me 60 dollars i honestly thought they were gonna take like I thought they were gonna maybe give me back like half a bin because all of these clothes are in good condition and like they look like stuff you would find in Plato's Closet. Like I've definitely seen worse at Plato's Closet, but they took 20 things and sent me back with two bins. So I was like, okay. Okay, so now that the whole like Plato's Closet thing is out of the way, I decided to change into like more of a workout outfit because I need to get some exercise in today. Um, and I was thinking of doing just some rowing in my room on my Marac rowing machine, which yes, I do keep it in my room and I'll show you how. This is my room, clearly no workout machine in sight. But if you go over to my closet, you can see that I literally keep it upright standing in my closet so I can take it out whenever I want. Trust me, it's really easy to move from one place to another. It's really lightweight and compact and it has wheels on the bottom so I literally can just like move it from here and there even on carpet. 
and then I can just set it down and start my workout. I have been trying to incorporate rowing in like my everyday routine for the last few weeks because I can take this machine anywhere in my house and work out wherever I want, whenever I want. I want to show you guys what makes this rowing machine so special and perfect for me. It has 16 levels of magnetic resistance. So if you go up to 16, that's going to be the most resistance. I really like rowing on the 16th level of resistance because I find it the most challenging and um, I'm obviously trying to, you know, work out and do strength and conditioning for tennis. Also a holder for your phone so you can watch anything. I like to watch Love Island while I work out. If you have the free Merak app, you can track all your workouts and your data and your progress on there. And you could just set your phone down and set up a workout um, and train with that. So basically all you have to do is you just strap your feet in and then you are ready to go basically. And then uh, I'm just going to set up my resistance to 16 and um, it tracks your time on here as well for how long you're doing it and for how many miles you go as well. So you kind of keep track of like how much you do every day. And oh my gosh, every time I start it, I forget how hard it is to do level 16 but after you know a few minutes my body gets a little warmed up and it becomes easier so i don't know if you guys noticed but the machine is totally quiet i literally can listen to my music or watch love island or just work out at night without bothering my family and like i just hate when like i'm listening to music or something or watching a show and like the machine i'm on is like overpowering what i'm listening to there's literally no noise i can still talk to you guys and you guys can still hear me it's like insane rowing for so long on level 16 is not for the week guys it's literally it took me so long to build up to that endurance and stuff but once i got to it it's definitely worth it most people don't know that rowing actually uses 90% of your total body muscles. So when you're rowing, you're literally growing so much of your body muscles, which is insane. And obviously, if you play tennis, you know that you use literally all your muscles in tennis. So this is like ideal for me. Also, no one talks about how quickly you can see results if you stay consistent. I started seeing results in my body after only a few weeks and I felt more toned. I feel like I looked more toned and I just felt better in general. Um, when I was playing tennis and stuff like that, I felt more energized and stronger. And I think that's just such a rewarding feeling. Some days I literally just cannot make it to the gym. So how cool is it that I can work out my entire body literally in my room? I ended up taking off my sweatshirt because it's getting really hot in here after doing this for a while and I just, yeah, I'm wearing a sports bra and I feel like this is just how I spend majority of my time rowing so I don't like overheat. It says I'm rowing at about 6 miles per hour and it keeps in track like how far I'm rowing, how fast I'm going, what my tempo is. I think it's really cool. When they say rowing uses 90% of your muscles, they mean it. Like, I feel it everywhere. It's insane. It makes it so easy to get in my everyday cardio, and it's literally the fastest way I can just get moving. So now I can tell myself there's literally no excuse to be lazy and lay in my bed when I literally have a rowing machine right next to me. It's insane, and I just love it so much. This is truly the best quality rowing machine you can get between a $200 and $300 price range. Um, you can also use my code for $60 off when you get yours. And please let me know how it goes for you and how easy it is for you to incorporate it into your everyday lifestyle. Because for me, it was such a simple change and it has made all the difference. Okay, enough of me talking. I'm going to get my workout in. Um, I was kind of trying to demonstrate for you guys, but I'm actually going to do my workout in. I'm going to aim for 20-ish minutes today for rowing because I still have things to do later on. I don't want to break too much of a sweat yet, but still, to even 20 minutes a day, 20 to 15 minutes a day, that's enough to make such a big difference if you stay consistent. I feel like consistency is key and no one talks about it enough. I'm done all i have to do is unplug it from the wall and literally move it back to my closet and i'm good there it's literally that easy don't forget to use my code for 60 dollars off of your purchase on the marac rowing machine it is seriously going to be the best purchase of your life i promise you that
um, it's getting darker outside and me and James got movie tickets to see the new like Twister movie and <laughs> we spent $50 on these it dang was tickets. so expensive. Yeah, it was really expensive. But um, it's 4D. So. It's in 4D, that's why they're so expensive. And it's like a Twister movie, so there's gonna be like wind, rain, vibration, like smells, all that in the thing. We've never been to a movie theater like this, so I'm kind of scared. Oh my God! What if we have like popcorn or something and it like sprays water and then it gets soggy? Ew. It's fine. <laughs> soggy popcorn, yeah! But before that, we want to go to Five Below or Target or wherever the heck we want to go to get matching pajama pants because we both can wear whatever top. A black top because I'm wearing a black top. <laughs> and then we're going to get matching pajama pants and we're going to pull up matching. <laughs> and yeah. So slime. We're gonna do it. Mm. Oh, we've literally been to two stores already, and they have literally have no pajama pants, like none. We went to Five Below, Marshalls, and now we're trying Ross. And if they don't have any here, I'm gonna actually, gonna actually myself. shoot myself. So, uh, for my sake, they better have them. Okay, so we have like seven minutes to get to the theater, and we're 15 minutes away. So, but you know what? It's fine because after the fifth store, I found matching pajamas. So they're are these two so bro this was like literally a last resort this was so atrocious like i was sprinting in and out like i was like oh my gosh kill me now um anyways yeah we might be 10 minutes late for the movie but at least we're fashionably oh, late yeah. like at least that so let's go guys and we have matching song bus too so tough guys literally all right we got all this stuff the goods and we're gonna go to see the movie and i'm like actually scared Okay guys, so I am back from the movie theater. The movie was so good. The movie itself was amazing. I loved it so much. And the fact that it was in 4D, it was such a good movie to watch in 4D. I was not expecting that. The whole freaking seats were like rotating and like vibrating. And it was like during a hurricane or during tornado scenes, it was like insane. There was like rain, wind, everything. It was crazy. But um, yeah, I just loved it. It was like such a 10 out of 10 experience, definitely worth the money. And it's like 11 o'clock right now. But if you think I'm done with my day, you're wrong because I gotta do my nails now. Um, so this is like, the nails aren't that bad. They're just overgrown and I'm also bored and I'm not ready to go to sleep yet. So I'm just gonna do my own acrylics at home because I'm bored, I wanna do it and it's basically free if I do it by myself. So that's what I'm going to do right now and I'm going to start the process and I'm going to keep you updated. It's going to take me like hours, but I'm ready. Guys, it's literally 1am and this is all I did. I spent two hours getting these stupid nails off of my hands and they're disgusting. Like what? <sighs> I could vomit. My nails are like so brittle and fragile. It's so bad. And I literally put blue light glasses on because I was getting, like my eyes were getting so tired. Like I was watching Love Island and I was like, I put the blue light glasses on and also to protect my eyes because I was just drilling, 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 drilling. And it was like, everything was flying in my eyes. I was like, oh my God, it's been two hours. And I'm literally gonna kill myself. I'm so tired. I'm exhausted. And I didn't even start my nails. I'm just, I'm just done. I don't want to do them anymore tonight. It took me forever. I've just been drilling, 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 filing, 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 filing. Like soaking my hands in like some freaking acetone. Like my cuticles are killing me. I am just exhausted and I'm going to go to bed. So... Oh my god, it's really cool, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I cannot, like, I just, I just can't do this anymore, okay? So, thank you so much for watching my day in my life. This is actually so embarrassing. And I, like, finished doing my nails and stuff like that. And I was like, okay, like, me, like, I have to wake up at tennis tomorrow at 6.30. And I'm like, okay, well, shoot, this is kind of, like, I don't want it to stay up too late. And then I like poured out all my monomer and this is all the monomer I have. I have like no monomer. So even if I wanted to do my nails, I can't. I have no monomer. 
and it's like oh, oh, oh. i want to like smash my head into my freaking mirror like i'm so angry but you know what it's fine at least i have no nails so thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys next time i love you with all my heart and i am just gonna try not to cry tonight because my hands hurt so bad i'm exhausted and i have to wake up early okay bye